they are stately monuments to another era, an era of nearly 150 years ago. They make up a community called Officer's Circle. Today, it is unique student housing at the University of Utah. Yes, today, in this house, they're undergrads preparing their science skills for a new world. But the visual echoes of an outpost military fort surrounds them all. The fireplace just past the internet hubs with the original tiles on the fireplace floors, the old fixtures of maybe a hundred years ago. Even the floor is still supported by lumber from the Utah mountains in 1877. It is what it was, and that was the best for the officers of Fort Douglas who were assigned to the territory of Utah. And on these ones you see here behind us, we're using local Red Butte sandstone that has a particular tone and shade to it. And then you'll see the white porches and the decorative wood. Now, if you can look past the cars and the paved roads, you can see what history has left. You can imagine the town watching this community rise up to the east of Salt Lake City. A faded copy of an 1875 Tribune called the homes commodious, elegant, and substantial buildings. And the plastering is of the best kind and all hand finished. The design of these buildings is known as the Swiss style of architecture. Indeed, they did take on a Swiss Alps Lodge look in the Utah winters. A special place at the improved fort was the commander's home. It is a place that today is almost exactly as it was the day President Hayes stood on the porch. Now there are stories that the city and the fort were always enemies. That is not true. First of all, the homes were built with contractors from the city, and this was not just a place where soldiers lived. A bandstand was in the center of the parade field, and of course, a giant U.S. flag. The Deseret News reported a large number of citizens of the city and neighborhoods commenced to arrive in carriages for the purpose of witnessing the raising of the national flag. The paper wrote that the 13th Infantry Band played some excellent music. The Deseret News would later write how wonderful it was to go to the fort called Camp Douglas for Decoration Day which was celebrated in June. Again, imposing ceremonies would take place on the grounds in front of Officer Circle. Army records show that there was no shortage of Army officers who wanted duty at Fort Douglas. The papers would list the new officers, the officers who got to live in the homes. They would often be joining the people of the city who came up to visit. Soldiers going on leave, going down into the city, uh, civilians coming on up here to the post. There was this connection to the community. A connection that continued until Fort Douglas was decommissioned in 1991. Oh, it must have been quite a moment when new troops discovered that they were going to live in Utah, in homes made out of rock from the nearby canyon inspired by the Alps, and now occupied by students born years after the last officers left 32 years ago. Officer Circle, its treasured military history, a wonderful glimpse into the past. Oh, and the students just love it today. Craigworth, ABC 4 News. Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson.